Hey there folks, welcome to another train simulator video. Today we are back on the beautiful uh, Seligman sub, uh, affectionately known on the Steam store and for train simulator as the Arizona Divide. Uh, today we are on the Southwest Chief Train 4 uh, eastbound. We're stopping at Flagstaff, which is uh, straight ahead. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're at Williams Junction. We're going to be waiting on a couple of freight trains here. We're going to take off. Uh, we got a couple of GE B32-8 WHs. That's a mouthful, I know. The uh, the GE Amtrak-8s. Pepsi cans. Um, that is what we're in. For the scenario, all you need is the Arizona Divide and Raton Pass. But I've taken the liberty to remove the Amtrak dash eights that come with uh, Raton Pass and swapped them out for the standard dovetail pack of the Amtrak dash eights because I'm using the mic cam uh, modification physics and sound pack. Anyway, let's get going here. It says Seligman sub to Amtrak train four, 197 train lead unit 553 is approaching Williams Junction now operating on the south track. Once it has entered the Phoenix sub and is clear of the junction and subject to signal indications, you can proceed eastbound. Dispatch is out. All right, here we are. Here's our ponies. Lovely Amtrak Dash 8s. And the Pepsi can livery. All right, special operating instructions. Once 197 has cleared, you will likely need to call for signal clearance. Okay. So yeah, I've only really explored the, uh, well, I kind of jumped around on the map, but I haven't done a, a true blue run uh, from the west side of this map, which is way over yonder, Williams Junction. So we'd be coming from L.A. This train, for those of you that may not know, the Southwest Chief runs between uh, Los Angeles and Chicago. So anyway, yeah, this will be my first good run between uh, Williams and Flagstaff, which this is a very pretty area. Totally different than the, uh, the east side of the map. Headlights are weird on this thing. I'm trying to get them on the lowest, lowest brightness setting possible here. Let's see if that actually works. There goes the first westbound. He's headed on down to Phoenix. Anyways, just in case, I, as always, uh, where links are to be had, they will be had. I'll pop them down below under the description uh, for the mod itself and, of course, this uh, scenario that we're running here. All right, so train has cleared. We'll give them a minute to roll on here. Go ahead and try and get set up here, get us moving. All right, request approved. Now the thing about this mod pack is uh, 
it's not that that typical weird feeling with a lot of these trains with train sim uh, where they just feel like they have basically no realness to them and the way they operate and uh, start putting power down getting slack out the weight of it uh, etc so it does take a minute to start going as well as braking Double reds are freaking me out, so I'm going to tab again just in case. And we have got some track speed to be getting up to here. This add-on uh, had a, a bit of a sorted release um, with the logo pack, but as far as I can tell, that seems to be sorted now. True Rail Simulations released uh, a patch of their own, which was very cool of them to uh, add the logos. But then the following week, um, there was a, a Steam patch that popped up. And uh, I, I personally have not had any, any trouble since, and they definitely are... Uh, logo Santa Fe coming up here. I think it is guarded as well. couple of decent curves coming up according to the map. Go ahead and power down here at the crest of this hill. Almost got it. 
ass end of the train caught up with me. The westbound looks like uh, some grain, possibly. slide. There's a bit of a, uh, a sawtooth style grade out here. I, I wasn't really expecting that. As I said, this is the first time I've gone from uh, west to east out of Williams. Ooh, it's getting away from us. Another little crest right here, and then it's down again. Absolutely stunning scenery. Milepost is getting better and better. thought, uh, I didn't think they could do any better with Yellowhead Pass, but, uh, this, this is, this is just special, because it's, you know, you got so much variety, it's, it's not kind of the, the same thing end to end. Calendar? Calendar? I don't know how the hell they pronounce that. Chalender? There it is. Next go via is main. Power back up here a little bit.
shut her back down. Another train. Alright. Couple of cow bodies. It's like a junk train. That big range there in the distance, that effectively is uh, Flagstaff. Alright, upgrade again. Give her four notches. Two more. That's a 1.8 right there. That's pretty steep. like it's opening up quite a bit through here. So yeah, that really tall mountain over there, I, I, I I'm sorry, I don't know what the range is called, the, the group of mountains, but I do know that's Humphreys Peak. The tallest bit around here, and it, it kind of sits on the backside of uh, Flagstaff. Beautiful area, though. And then you go south, uh, you go south a little bit, like, I think due south straight out of Flagstaff and Sedona. Another just achingly beautiful area landscape. It's like we got some fast running coming up here. Get up to track speed. Speeding a little bit. That's all right. I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's gonna catch up with us here. So anyway, other fun facts is we've got I-40, the interstate that runs uh, east and west. It's over on our left now. When you're when you're out uh, out in Winslow heading west, uh, it's over on your left hand side. So what would be our right? South track. Looks like we got another crossing coming up. Getting closer to that mountain.
man, what a sight. What a sight. Now, that on the left, the cars over there, that is I-40, Interstate 40. So we should kind of butt up against that um, for a little while here. And then we got a little town called Belmont. And then after that is uh, Flagstaff. Absolutely stunning area, though. I would recommend if any of you have Flight Simulator to uh, to fire that up and, and fly this route, because I did that um, a couple of weeks back. I think that we this released. And there is a massive uh, asteroid crater over by Winslow that uh, I didn't even realize was there. Uh, let's see. It's probably about, like, right here somewhere. I know it's before Diablo Canyon, but it's after Winslow. But anyway, that's a neat site, and I, uh, I looked it up, and it's it's like a park you go pay, and there's like an overlook and all that. It looks really interesting. But the scenery alone around here is uh, just phenomenal. In this, and uh, on the real real. It's like we got a stack train coming. So we're, we're not slacking on uh, AI traffic here. By the way, I'd also like to add that this is a two-part scenario. Um, I will go ahead and link both, like I said, but I uh, I will definitely must be trying to uh, make a, a, a video featuring the second part as well, which uh, will go all the way to Winslow. That is kind of sand pit mine some action over there on the right.
All right, Seligman sub dispatch to train four. You will be crossing over the north track at Belmont East in anticipation of your passenger stop at Flagstaff. Crossover speed is 40. Dispatch out. All right, we got a mile and a half to get that done. There's the Belmont sign. Just gorgeous. I'd love to hit the uh, Southwest Chief IRL. I can imagine the whole thing is probably pretty damn scenic, but uh, you know, you cut through Colorado and, and start that turn south and then west. You got all this. New Mexico. Nine and one quarter miles to Flagstaff Depot North Track. Go ahead and start backing off the throttle a bit. Anticipation of that 50. There's I-40 right there. The old Route 66 as well. It's going to be on our left-hand side. I think until you get past uh, Flagstaff, just on the other side of Flagstaff, and then it crosses over you, or you cross over it. Any way you want to look at it.
crest coming up here. Being that this is the first time I've done this segment, this is uh, totally different than the east side, for sure. Obviously, not only in looks, but uh, the way it handles, how it feels. Damn, that is a big drop coming up. and uh, it's like we're going to be racing eastbound on the uh, south track. Nice. Nice. Hopefully we can catch up to it here. Alright, there's I-40 right there. What timing. Going under the overpass, coming around that bend, coming up on this train right here and those mountains in the distance. Passengers should be so lucky to get some same direction action here. Staff. All right, there we go. There's the engines.
it's curvy through here. Hence the uh, speed control. something Nothing like a little flange squeal in the morning. Park you right up. Two miles. Should start coming into view here in just a moment. Flagstaff AZ. to the mountains. There's Flagstaff Depot.
made it. Just. Alright, well done. Journey of Amtrak Train for Southwest Chief be continued scenario. Amtrak Across America Part 2. That is it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll have Part 2 up at some point. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.